Vidona ain't letting up on Diddy. And now he's dragging Jay-Z into the mix too, man. Now rumors have been swirling that Jay-Z is just as bad as Pitt, but smarter at covering up his tracks. 50 Cent explained how Jay-Z is in hiding while this whole Diddy lawsuit blows over. He said, Jay in hibernation, he ain't coming outside till this shit with Puff blow over. No brunch, no lunch, no dinner, lol. I'm all you got, I'm outside. I mean, it's been alleged that Diddy is throwing Jay-Z out there because he is not speaking up and he is not helping him whatsoever. And we know how close Jay-Z and Diddy were. I mean, the Jane Doe from one of the Diddy lawsuits allegedly is Tierra Marie. And if you remember, Jay-Z and Tierra Marie were together all the time back then. And with their friendship going back as far as it does, Jay-Z better hope that Diddy doesn't open his mouth. I mean, we've heard it from Jaguar Wright as well that she knows that Jay-Z is going to be brought down with Diddy. Because allegedly they are the ones that have been offing and sidemining all of these relevant hip-hop artists in the industry for years. 50 Cent is a real one and he is coming at everybody's neck and I absolutely love this. Sean Carter, you're a piece of sh**. Taking Pimp C wasn't bad enough. You just want to go down there and you want to just remove all of the balls from every real f gangsta in Houston? Why the f did that house burn up? Who the f goes to their childhood house for a visit and the sh goes up in flames? That was very weird. The next day, and, and within the, the week? And the, no, the next day. The next day. And, and still, no real investigation on how the house just went up in flames. Man. I guess they paid y'all off. Like they paid y'all off for that astral world. In 21 years, I have never had anything to say about Mr. Sean Carter other than the fact that we had a pleasant working relationship and he was an excellent businessman. 21 years. 21 years. And after 21 years, what I will say to you is, is, is this. The first time I ever saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York. But he didn't show up as Jay-Z. He didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street. He showed up as the nigga that was with Big L. Rest For in those peace. of you. Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. One of the that dopest. One of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay-Z on. Without question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay-Z. And then, you know, he starts clientele with Tupac and clientele with Biggie and doing songs with Biggie and building a working, you know, camaraderie with honeycombs and um aka diddler i mean diddy and um why do you give him the honeycombs why why do you give him honeycombs because he smacks so sweet <laughs> that fucking side of my <laughs> anyway um so yeah then you know, and then reasonable doubt was happening and then Dame's in the picture and Dame's building Rockefeller and everybody's talking about Jay-Z, Jay-Z. And don't get me wrong, there is nobody who loves reasonable doubt more than me. Mm. At the time nobody. of. Nobody. No, still. Yes, to this day. Still, listen to me. I don't give a fuck how I feel about you. For me to have bad feelings about someone and not acknowledge art, and its greatness or at its finest is hating. Maybe I don't fuck with you, but them shoes is hot, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you gotta be real. Mm. So I will never, shit, I was just listening to Watch the Throne earlier this week and, I'm, and that shit was enraging me. Cause I'm like, y'all motherfuckers was living for this fucking album and was Kanye, 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 Kanye. And then all of y'all made all of this money on this motherfucking dude. And now all of a sudden. Who, him? <laughs> like, yeah. 
Go <laughs> Like he was good enough when you let him slump just Blaze's fucking whole career. Mm. He was the shit. That's the whole issue in the show. It it was worth putting just Blaze on the line for because just Blaze was Rockefeller production until Kanye. Yeah. Who's just Blaze producing for now? That I don't know. Who is yeah, I about to say that I don't know. And he was there. He was he was the movement. Where is just place? Yeah. I mean, he was making hoes beats. You got title. You're a billionaire. Mm. Where the fuck is just Blaze? Now 50 Cent's latest tweet claims that Dio, the company the suit and one against is out to get him dead now they stock took a hit and now they're allegedly trying to get him in prison nobody goes against a corporation like that and wins and walks away uncapped this america y'all is capitalist country that's how our business works okay so people are saying did he bit the hand that fed him and i agree like why would you go after these people and yeah i'll go with the fact that they they, they sent the feds and everybody after him like why would you play those games they were paying you you weren't paying them. And yeah, you got too many skeletons to be to be calling out their skeletons. You be in a Spider-Man meme right now. Definitely egotistical. I think the public at large, when they heard the lawsuit, like this sounds frivolous. Diddy is being too Diddy. All you had to do was dance and party with liquor in your hand. You were the original TikToker. Just look cool and, and po- hold the product like this. <laughs> And say drink responsibly. That was it. $60 million influencer. That's what you were. Now your house is getting raided, your mules getting exposed. All you had to do was be like, take that, take that, drink responsibly. Take that, take that, drink responsibly. And I just need the same 24 hours as y'all giving everybody else in your portfolio. And I couldn't get that. I had to send my people down to Mexico. They went down to Mexico. And when they got down there, they found out that there was zero agave planted for Deleon. So there was no plan for us to be successful. There was no equal treatment. The other brands, they had agave planted. They had no agave planted for me. And sometimes you have to go check even your partners to see what's really going on. And so when I saw that, I was like, nah, nah, I'm gonna fight because it's bigger than me. It's, 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 it's about not just me, it's about we, it's about all of us. So I chose, I chose my, perfect, my, I chose my purpose over profit. And that's the whole Deleon situation. That is, if you look at, can you type in what Diageo's market cap is? They're Pull up, massive. Type in Diageo market cap. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, right there. If you just type in Diageo market cap, market cap, $81 wow. billion. Yeah. And what this insider said to me, just purely on what could happen, is given, I'm not, again, I'm not given a source, it could be speculation. He said they owe him $2 billion. And he said it could be the fact that they are doing this to not have to pay him $2 billion. Now, can you just type in, maybe type in, uh, Diageo owes Diddy two billion dollars. See if anything like that comes up. Diageo owes Diddy two billion dollars. Go to news. Can you go just to news at the top? Uh, let's see what stories pop up. Can you go a little lower? Okay. Diddy Diageo in the Clam Sean Combs business empire. Sean Diddy Combs uh, dumped by Diageo, maker of Johnny Walker. Diddy sues. Uh, Diddy sues. Uh, Sean Diddy and Combs to Diageo settle, withdraw lawsuit in case of Diageo of racism. Uh, okay. So there's something that's going on there that is, you know, kind of ugly. And obviously the people that are saying that they're supporters of him. So they're kind of like saying yeah. there's something going on that you guys are not seeing, right? It's another thing that you got to consider. What do you what do you what do you know about? I've that seen part? litigation between those two, and there's a racial charge there as well. And if they've settled, and I also heard Diddy double cross them, so I don't really know what's going on at that level. But I do know that you said you don't think Diddy's going down. I, I have. I, I, for, I, I, I disagree. And why do you? And, why I, do you think and, that? I, and I and I think if you have the feds go in there and seize everything in the house, mm-hmm. phones, electronics, video cameras, and he has multiple civil suits in play, do you think Universal Records is going to take the fall? Well, well, I don't think Universal Records is going to. Do you take think the fall. lesser players are? Because just think about it, the day that they I raided, do. he he wasn't there, and his jet 
flew with God knows what, he wasn't on it, to a, a place that doesn't have any U.S. extradition. Maybe all the tapes and all everything, that was just like a, a delivery method. Because why else is he dancing and having a great time in the streets? He that's, can't, he's not delusional. Because it's great PR. All right, and don't think for a second about Jay-Z. Didn't know what was happening with Diddy Kim Porter and Cassie and all the other stuff going on. I mean, let's be real, Jay-Z's got his own skeletons in the closet. And 50 Cent is ready to expose them all. You think the proximity of this person, that's the time you can spend picking their mind and getting information and getting connections and being in their circle is going to provide you with so many more opportunities that they can get away with such nasty behavior, with such violent acts to other people. Because not only can they silence their victims, but they can cultivate a community of people who will enable their bad behavior. Part of why the music industry has not had its moment, it's me too moment, it's bringing down of these executives because I have stories. I witnessed a lot of things. That's why so many people are not coming to the events of Puffy because a lot of this stuff lines up with what we already knew about him. But there is a network of people that enable this. I really hope that we can as a society work towards not being so enamored by wealth. I was in the ad right. because of uh Look, Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm -hmm. So I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. With him, because like with Nori, Nori was, he had uh, communication. He said, yeah, that's why I talked to the big homie. He said, so Jay, he was telling me, you know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without without 50. The image itself after a gay painter. The okay. big homie wanted to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing, like with, with M, Dre, and myself, 